Hello everyone, this is a quick demo of the most recent version of the PDF highlighter extension for Rome. Uh, thanks for all of your comments and most importantly, thanks for your patience. Uh, I was looking for time to work on this and it finally happened. So hopefully you are going to be satisfied with uh, the updated extension. Okay, starting with viewer updates. So first of all, uh, we don't have uh, all, all the parameters that we had before for viewers. We only have this single parameter, which is PDF min height. So this is going to be the height of the viewer uh, in your browser. So in pixel, uh, and that's about it. For the widths, we're going with uh, the uh, widths that uh, has been provided by uh, Rome team. So this is uh, determining the size of uh, your main page, the size of blocks on your main page. So uh, the PDF here just uh, fits that and um, yeah so the zoom uh, is actually working right now and it's persistent so you can zoom in and it persists and also you see that we have a new toolbar so uh, we have zoom in zoom out and fit to page and fit Widths. and we also have experimental rotation so this rotates the main uh, text the pdf text not the highlights so this is work in progress but at least now you can read uh, landscape pages also uh, we have page navigation you can jump around and um, yeah, so the page changes, and if you enter something like uh, invalid, it works. And you can manually also change the zoom. And again, invalid, it works. So as I said, the zoom is persistent, but if you resize the right sidebar, uh, it's going to fit the widths again, and you need to zoom uh, zoom back in again if you want. And yeah, so that's all I have to say about the new toolbar. Uh, moving on. So the next item is uh, better pop-up menu for highlights. So uh, we have new color, which is gray. Do so you see that and change color going back to red? And we have two uh, new buttons. So the first one opens the uh, highlight in the sidebar. And the second one copies the uh, block reference to this highlight right from the PDF. So uh, let's check that. I paste it and this is the uh, reference to the highlight which I have over here and okay I'm going to delete this and next we have this extra uh, button which is in uh, dark yellow and uh, this is for resetting the color so if I click on this this turns uh, to the regular uh, yellow color of highlight, and this is going to be colorless, the text on your graph. So let's change it back to red. Um, yeah, so that's all I have to say about the uh, pop-up menu. Uh, I think the major uh, performance update is for uh, appending highlights and uh, activating buttons. So um, if you remember, we have two options. You can append the highlights uh, to the end of the highlight list. So for example, I'm in cousin mode and these are all my highlights. 
and uh, if I'm uh, in app hand mode, uh, new highlights will go here. So that was a little bit, that was a little bit slow. Now it's fixed. And uh, for prepend, it was always very fast. So let's check this out. So uh, we have no issue. So this is the new highlight. And the other thing is uh, the activation of uh, highlight button. So uh, to connect the uh, highlight buttons to the PDF, it uh, took some time. And whenever you have, and whenever you had many highlights, it was a little bit slow. Now you see that I have, for example, 81 highlights for this PDF and uh, it's very fast. I'm going to refresh my page, but uh, essentially well, what I'm doing is that, I mean, on top of refactoring the code and make it faster, uh, I am activating uh, highlights uh, while you're scrolling. So basically um, you gradually see that each one of these bottoms get, uh, gets activated. So let's refresh the page and see what happens. So when you refresh your ROM uh, page, everything is slow and do not see the toolbar. You can refresh the uh, PDF. And then if I scroll down, so activated uh, buttons are circle and non-activated ones are rectangle. And you see that everything is uh, spontaneously converts to circle. So we don't have any lag. You can click on them right away. And um, yeah, so that's about the speed. So hopefully you won't have any issue. Just let me know if you have any issue on uh, different computers. So I've tested this on Windows and mostly Chromium on uh, Brave uh, browser. So if you have any issue in other browsers, just let me know. And yeah, so uh, we can, uh, next we can check some examples. So for example, this is some arbitrary highlight from another paper. And if I click on this, it gets loaded on the sidebar and jumps to the correct place uh, in the PDF. And I think the most interesting uh, update in my mind is this one. So now you can combine block reference to highlights. So for example, here I have two highlights coming from uh, same PDF or different PDFs, and you can have them in the same block. So for example, here I click on this. So this is for the other paper. So um, this one is for this paper. So I'm just combining them. And you have your regular buttons to convert these to, for example, uh, text. So this is converting it to text. And this one is converting it to uh, text plus an alias. Okay. And um, the other thing is that uh, I've changed the code to get rid of this uh, PDF character button. So uh, these are old highlights, so it's backward compatible. But if you uh, add a new highlight and and copy the block reference of that, and for example, adding it to here.
you won't see that uh, extra character. And um, yeah, so we can also uh, use a CSS to hide um, these buttons and just show them on hover. So this is a simple CSS that does that. So now everything is uh, hidden. And if you move on to uh, these block reference highlights, you see them and you can use them and everything works. But uh, visually, it's more pleasant. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, some uh, final thoughts regarding combination of new features and the OCR extension. Now we can zoom in and have a better view of, for example, math equations. So this is an old paper, so the math equations are not uh, that clear uh, in lower resolutions. So if you zoom in, click Alt and get, a, get an area highlight. Opening it in the sidebar and control click. Yeah, so I think uh, this combination is very powerful and it can enhance um, your research a lot. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, if you're enjoying, uh, the extensions that I'm working on for Rome, please consider supporting my work and buy me a coffee. Um, thank you. Uh,